Over the last three weeks, two student senators at Florida State University have come under fire. First, for making disparaging comments about Black Lives Matter. And now, as Mike Vasilinda tells us, for anti-Semitic comments that may violate state law. I'm Ahmad Daraldik. FSU Student Senate President grew up in Palestine. I'm a Palestinian Muslim American. He's under fire for likening Israel to Nazi Germany. This was his defense. And will not allow racist Israeli policy to commit those same crimes against my people. The student senate voted 19 to 16 to remove him from the presidency. It fell short of the two-thirds majority required, but the call for action has spread far beyond the university, and his words may be the first test of the anti-Semitic legislation approved last year and signed in Israel. All right, it's done. What it simply says is that anti-Semitic conduct, speech, behaviors, etc., have to be treated in an identical manner to racist speech and conduct. Jared Moskowitz, the state emergency management director, is also weighing in. If he had said, stupid, insert an, another race, another uh, ethnicity, had he said that, I think there would be just dramatic outcry uh, from, from everybody, but apparently just when it comes to Went to, to Jews, there's just this double standard. In a statement, FSU President John Thrasher says he's aware of the controversy and that FSU will not tolerate discrimination. Daryl Deek's only been on the job three and a half weeks. His predecessor was booted from the job after making remarks insensitive to Black Lives Matter. I think President Thrasher needs to take a very hard line, particularly um, to avoid a, an appearance of hypocrisy. The student senate will take another vote on removal Tuesday. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. In an email, FSU says it investigates all complaints and that student conduct and disciplinary matters are protected by federal and state privacy laws.